Ms. Hunt and Ms. Grayson. You know, we agree this project is too important. That's why we went out and asked the citizens what they thought. We feel somewhat like this is a David and Goliath battle. And you have that whole roster of organizations and people that our mayor just talked about. But what we have is we have petitions from 52,000 people who said, we want to take another look at this. We want to find out more. We're not convinced there's only one route, and that's the right route. We have had delays on this project because of this toll road, of trying to fit a toll road into a floodway. Every time we're ready to go forward, something else comes up. The latest is, is that you couldn't put it on a shelf in the levees. It would undermine the safety of the levees, which are there to protect our city from flooding. So now we have to move it further into our park. You talk about congestion. You talk about air pollution. We're going to take our premier park, and we're going to put a road in it that's up in the air. And you know what? You can't build that road high enough where it doesn't flood. You saw pictures in the newspaper of water from levee top almost to levee top. And yet, they're telling us that road will not flood. That road is going to go under the bridges. It needs flood walls under the bridges so that it will be protected if it can possibly be from the flood waters. Yes, that road will flood. It's like, who are you going to believe? Them or your lion eyes? There's a picture that shows you water from levee top to levee top. So the delays are because you're trying to put something in there that shouldn't go. We're going to have a wonderful park. We could have a wonderful park. Are you going to have trucks going by? We don't know if there's going to be trucks on there or not. Trucks spew pollution. So what we're saying is, and we're saying thank you to 52,000 people who signed that and gave us another chance to do this. Thank you for coming tonight and caring enough to listen to this. We look forward to your questions. We want to encourage you to go vote on November 6th and vote yes for Proposition 1. We can do better. 